Hello everyone. In this section, we're going to talk about RDD, which is short for Resilient Distributed Dataset. The entire world of Spark is built around RDDs, which are Spark's core abstraction for working with data. RDD is the core object that we will be using when developing with Spark applications, and it is probably the most important concept that you want to understand and know how to use. So let's dive in. RDD stands for Resilient Distributed Datasets. So let's start by talking about what is a dataset. A dataset is basically a connection of data. It can be a list of strings, a list of integers, or even a number of rows in a relational database. RDDs can contain any types of objects, including user-defined classes. An RDD is simply a capsulation around a very large dataset. In Spark, all work is expressed as either creating new RDDs, transforming existing RDDs, or calling operations on RDDs to compute a result. Under the hood, Spark will automatically distribute the data contained in RDDs across your cluster and parallelize the operations you perform on them. Once RDDs are created, what can we do with them? RDDs offer two types of operations. Transformations and Actions Transformations basically apply some functions to the data in RDD to create a new RDD. One of the most common transformation is filter which will return our new RDD with a subset of the data in the original RDD. For example, we can use filter to create a new RDD holding just the strings that contain the word Friday. Actions, on the other hand, compute a result based on an RDD. One of the most popular actions is first, which returns the first element in an RDD. To summarize, every Spark program will work as follows. Generate initial RDDs from external data. Apply transformations such as map and filter on RDDs. Launch actions such as count to fire off the computations of the result, which will be optimized and executed by Spark. In the later lectures of this section, we will go through each of these steps in detail. That's it for this lecture. I hope you have enjoyed it.